Man, that buffet was good. See? What'd I tell you? You're feeling better already. Now, the show starts at 9 o'clock. I gotta change and do my makeup real quick. Give me a minute. Hmm. What outfit should I wear to the show this time? No. Nope. Not feeling that one tonight. Oh, this one looks really good. But no. Hmm. Meh, maybe some other time. I really need an outfit that's gonna capture their attention. Huh? Perfect. Now this one looks good. It just needs... something more. Let's add this scarf. Mm hmm And the glasses? Oh yeah, this really ties it all together. Okay. It's showtime. Ready? Heh, <laughs> what do you think? You think it's cute? Aw, thanks. Well, it's about time to head off to the show. You ready? You're going in that? Well, it looks good on you, but it's not quite right for the occasion. Here, you can borrow one of my outfits. I bet this one will look cute on you. I mean, with that body, I bet you could pull anything off. Come on, give it a try. Damn. See, I told you you could pull it off. You look like a movie star. No, really. You look like you could be my guest performer. The audience would love you. Anyways, we should get going. You could ride with me and Aussie. It's no problem, buddy. Oh, you might want to shield your eyes when you step outside. Because of this. Come on, let's get to the limo. Quickly. Ugh. I can never have one moment where I step outside and the paparazzi isn't breathing down my fucking neck. You get used to it, I suppose. Sorry for the long wait, Ozzy. I had to help them get dressed for the show. Well, I just wanted them to look their best for tonight. Of course you look good, buddy. You look sunny. Wouldn't hurt to have a bit of confidence in yourself. Alright, we're here. Yep, that's it. It's a really big tent, huh? We're really going all out for this performance. Oh no, we're not going in through the entrance. There's another one we use to avoid the crowds and make it backstage. It's this way. Follow me. Looks like mostly everything's ready back here. Hey security, would you mind escorting my friend here to the front row seating? Yeah, I'm serious, buddy. Oh, don't mention it. Consider it a gift. Well, it's about time for us to part ways now. I still have to get things ready back here. See you in the audience. A hug? Ah, I can't say no to your adorable face. Come here. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Hey, what are those? No, I told them, no explosives. God damn it, who signed off on the fucking explosives? Debra? Fucking Debra. Ozzy, can you handle this, please? I'll be in my dressing room. Fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, all those hot in between, welcome to a spectacle that transcends the boundaries of the Seven Rings. Prepare to embark on a journey into the heart of wonder as we extend our gratitude for joining us under the resplendent lights of Fizzarali's Big Top Spectacular! Tonight, we don't just promise a show, we promise an experience like no other, featuring a musical extravaganza that will sweep you off your feet. And what a lineup we have in store for you, my friends! First, brace yourselves for the ethereal enchantress herself, Next Nightshade, as she unveils an exclusive, never-before-heard masterpiece. 
from the depths of indulgence, we proudly present Fiesel Beat, a dance collective straight from the gluttony ring, ready to enthrall you with their chart-topping hits. Our musical journey through the night will be orchestrated by none other than the unknown artist and Jin of the Decks, two demon DJs whose beats rank atop the infernal charts. But hold on to your horns, for the climax of our soiree will be none other than the Lord of Desire himself, Asmodeus, gracing us with his presence for a grand finale that will leave you burning with anticipation. Before we unveil our star-studded musical crescendo, let's welcome the imp who's captured many hearts and taken center stage, the enigmatic, the alluring, the mischievously marvelous, the great Fizzarali! Prepare to be mystified, astonished, and utterly enchanted by Ozzy's favorite sexy jester. Ladies and gentlemen, let the infernal celebration begin! Demons and sinners of the pride ring, how is everyone doing tonight? Are you ready to get this show started? Said, are you ready, bitches? All right, hit it. We're coming to the show, folks. If you demons want to see more of me, then come on down to you Aussies in the Lust Ring. And to all you centers in the crowd, don't worry. My next big tour, the Seven Rings, will be coming this October. I hope to see you all again soon. There you are. I was waiting for you. So, what did you think? Huh? You loved it. It was great, wasn't it? I told you we went to opera this show. You don't know how much it means to me that you enjoyed. You didn't know I could sing that good? Are you impressed? <laughs> yeah, I know you were. I saw you in the audience on the edge of your seat for every act. Especially when I came out, you always clapped and cheered the loudest. It sounds like I was watching you the whole time. Probably because I was watching you the entire time. It was to help you focus, okay? It's nothing like, you know. Yes, I'm sure, absolutely. Huh? You wanna know why my arms and legs stretch out so long? I figured you'd ask that eventually. Well, these are actually robotic enhancements provided by Big Ozzy. They're kind of necessary after, well, the incident. Hey, hey, relax, relax, okay? I'm still alive. I'm fine. It was a long time ago. It's a really dark moment in my life and I really don't like to talk about it, but I'll tell you this. Remember the circus I used to work at? Everything caught on fire and let's just say I wasn't so lucky. I lost everything. I tried to escape to break free from that nightmare, but it was a tragic comedy. I ran headlong into a box of fireworks and I lost my limbs. It hurt like nothing else in this accursed realm. Those memories, they still haunt me. Even now with these new limbs. The 
Thanks. I appreciate you comforting me. You're really sweet. I see that hasn't changed about you. You always cared about me. You know, amidst all the chaos and madness, there was one shining light. It was you. Always there to take care of me when I got hurt. Which, trusted me, happened more often than I'd like to admit. <laughs> I remember those times so clearly. You'd patch me up, put a band-aid on my wounds, and then... Oh, that little gesture meant the world. You kissed my boo-boos. It was cute as hell, and it did make me feel better. But... It's just shame that no amount of kisses is gonna make these boo-boos go away. Didn't you say you were gonna be a doctor? Didn't work out for you, huh? Oh man, your parents what? They took you out of school to spend all their money on drugs. You were howled? Oh my Satan, well, what did you do? You ran away from home. That explains why I didn't see you anymore after all these years. How did you survive? You found some nice hellhounds that took care of you. They didn't have much, but they took good care of you. Well, thank goodness you're safe now. You wanted to repay them for their kindness, so you went to find a job? I'm guessing that's how you got the job at Porn Studios, right? Whoa, Shucker. That's one hell of a backstory. To have your dreams of becoming a doctor snatched away like that at just 11? It's unimaginable. But I've got to hand it to you. Finding refuge with those hellhounds and building a life from strength? You've been through a fiery inferno and back. And it's no wonder you're the incredible person you are today. But I'm sorry you had to endure such hardship. Especially that dick, Valentino. No one should have to go through that. You're one tough soul to have persevere through all of it. Just know this, pal. I'm here for you now, and I'll do whatever it takes to make your life better. We'll face this chaotic world together, and I promise you'll never have to go through anything like that alone again. You really are the sweetest demon I know. You didn't deserve any of that. Hey now, sugar. Not me for those years. I know it's a lot to bear, and your story is more than a little rough around the edges. But you're here. You're strong, and you're still standing. I promise you, we'll make better memories from here on out. No more tears. Just laughter and love. You're not alone in this fiery chaos. I've got your back, and together, we'll conquer whatever comes our way. No, no, don't apologize for crying. It's okay, buddy. Let it out. You know, sugar, you've given me all these sweet memories, and it's high time I start returning the favor. I mean, it's only to make you feel better. Brace yourself. Because you're about to get the most devilishly charming kiss from the one and only Fizzarelli. Mmm. Your face is red again. Only it's even redder this time. <laughs> well, well, sugar. It seems you've got a tease for more, huh? <laughs> Why stop at just one when we can have as many as we want? Kiss away, my fiery love. I'm all yours. Mm. 
Whoa. <laughs> you know, that wasn't half bad. You're a good kisser, doll. Oh, Satan. Why do you have to be so fucking cute and sexy? Damn, I just want to smother you with kisses and hugs and... Uh, uh, Modius? Huh, how much of that did you see? All of it. <laughs> Crap. <sighs> yes, Osmodius. We'll talk later. I'll see you back at the limo. Well, I'm fucked. No, no, it's okay. It's not your fault. It's mine. Letting myself be all vulnerable and lovey-dovey around you. Giving you all this affection, it's just... Let me tell you something, sugar. In this infernal carnival of desires we call home, love is like a sideshow act. Amusing for a moment, but quickly forgotten. <laughs> I've got a reputation to uphold, darling, and it ain't built on rainbows and hearts. My livelihood thrives on lust. On what? On desire so intense it could set this place ablaze. If I were to waltz into the spotlight holding hands with you, it'd be like throwing gasoline on a bonfire, and the audience would devour us both. Hey now, don't look so down in the dumps. The moments we shared, they meant something. Believe me, we've painted the town red and set this place ablaze with our laughter and camaraderie. Those moments, there was reals the sulfur in the air. But darling, I gotta be honest. A relationship is like trying to tame a hellhound with a toothpick. It just ain't gonna work here. We'd be setting ourselves up for heartache, and I can't bear to see you hurt like that. <laughs> Besides, you wouldn't want to be tied down to a demon like me, always cracking crude jokes and stirring up trouble. We're better off keeping our friendship burning like an eternal flame. Even if it's the hottest kind of friendship. We should be getting back to the hotel now. Let's get to the limo. Well, that was the most awkward limo ride ever. Am I right? <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways. I got this meeting with Ozzy, so, yeah. See you later. Yeah? What's wrong? Well... Ah, damn. You had to go and drop that love bomb on me, didn't ya? Well, sugar... I've known since we were knee-high to a hellhound. You've got a heart as bright as a flaming pit, and it's hard to miss that kind of spark. Even in a place like hell. I really hate to do this, really, but we can't light this particular fuse. Our lives, our reputations, they'd be toast. So let's just stick to being friends, okay? See you later, Sugar Plum. <sighs> I hope one day you'll understand. I'm only trying to protect you. It's for the best. Isn't it?